Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. The sound of the phone ringing is getting to be cringeworthy for thousands of Floridians. We're seeing an increase in the number of robocall complaints, um, about 70% increase in the first half of this year to our office alone. Attorney General spokesman Whitney Ray says companies can unleash up to 1,000 calls every minute trying to sell you something you never asked for. If you receive a robocall that's pitching a product, more than likely that's a scam and you should hang up the phone. The Attorney General's Office and Federal Trade Commission recently shut down two scams in the state. Are you or a loved one afraid to live alone? One company targeted seniors with the promise of a medical bracelet. I was calling to uh, schedule the delivery of your medical alert system. They were promising that these devices were free, but they were getting the financial information of seniors and then charging their credit cards. So what should you do if you get one of these annoying phone calls? Well, just hang up and don't press any numbers, even if prompted to. A lot of robocalls will prompt you to press zero to talk to a live operator or hit the pound sign to be taken off the call list. But by doing this, you're verifying to that auto dialing service that there's a live person on the other end of that phone, and this can lead to more robocalls. If you think you've been a victim, write down the phone number of the caller from the caller ID, and you can report it to the Attorney General's office. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.